hopefuls and this is a continuation of the thanksgiving 101 menu preparation tips that also can be used for christmas or any other holiday i will make sure i will link that video above and below so guys let's get started first you want to organize your recipe your spices and your grocery list and your recipes what i've been doing for years is i like a physical copy and for, so for my go-to recipes i use every year for my turkey for my stuffing I printed those out and I put them in a clear sheet protector and put them in a binder. Simple as that. Also, you can use your Manby Happy Planner, decorate it with your stickers. Also, you can use um, recipe cards as well and put them in a cute recipe card box. So I have all of those and it's really easy and simple to keep up with as well make sure you go through your spices i have a ton of spices so i'm going to be going through those throwing away the old ones and getting see if i need any new ones and putting them in some jars it's long overdue also um your grocery list i like to use a tally list so like you're playing the game of tic-tac-toe or checkers and you're keeping score i like to write down how many butters that I need for this, how many cream cheeses I need for this, and so forth. So then it will be all together and I won't be scrambling going by each particular recipe. Everything will be all together. So I literally go through my ingredients on my recipes and that's how I know how much I need by making a tally list. And it makes it so much faster. Also organized by the aisle and department. I get really frustrated going back and forth. Oh, I need to go to produce. Then I need to go to the freezer section. I need to go to um, the bakery aisle. So I like to organize it by the aisle and department to make it go a little, little bit more smoother. Shop early for non-perishables and items you can freeze. So one thing I found that's really, there are a few things that are hard to find. And I find that fresh herbs, and I like to get them at Walmart. I will show a picture at the end and I also like to use the Jimmy Dean sage sausage or any type of sage sausage. It's very hard to find. So you can get the sage sausage and freeze that uh, weeks in advance and don't wait to the last minute. Also, you can go ahead and pick up your stuffing, pick up maybe any canned goods that you may need to pick up ahead of time. And so then you won't have to do this great, huge, overwhelming grocery trip all at one time. Poultry season is a staple in ground sage as well when it's Thanksgiving or Christmas for seasoning. And poultry season is something hard to find. So if I was you, I would pick that up the next time that I am in the grocery store and here's an example of Aldi seasoning. I like to pick theirs up. It's affordable. Um, you get way more than you need. Um, a lot of times I don't even use all of this and it's at affordable prices. So the seasonings are to the left and then they have the different types of extracts to the right. They have almond, lemon, the vanilla, and that looks like that cement. So a typical Thanksgiving menu is turkey, dressing, or stuffing, whichever you prefer. String bean casserole, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, or rice, gravy, sweet potato casserole, or yams. And really, guys, you can have whatever. If you want ribs, if you want fish, if you want a seafood boil, it's really up to you. If you want a steak dinner, it's up to you. I know living in the South here, there are a lot of soul food restaurants, so you can easily find good home cooking meals like this all the time. So you may want to switch up your menu a little bit more, maybe add ribs, add roast to it. I know I like to just put a roast in a crock pot um, for my mom, especially because it's more bariatric friendly. And so you may want to switch up your menu just a little bit depending on where you live and what your family likes. I also try to incorporate something new every year to the menu to make it a little bit more interesting. One year we had steak and greens. One year we had monkey bread, homemade monkey bread. So every year I try to find something new and different that 
the family may enjoy. And if they don't like it, then it's a bust. <laughs> In the description box, I will try to link and try my best to find all of the recipes that are my go-tos every year. I know some of you guys want to know some of those and I don't mind sharing. So I will make sure I will add that. Now some turkey talk. Depending on the size of the turkey, depends on how many people you're serving or how many times you just want to go back for leftovers, I guess. So two pounds per person, example, if you're serving 10 people you need to get a 20 pound turkey and I like to get my stock up price I used to be a really big couponer and I would get the turkeys when they were like 39 cents a pound uh, 40 cents or 50 cents now more so I just try to find the cheapest or the cheapest while I'm there in the store if that makes sense so I have purchased them from Walmart I purchased them from Aldi a lot um, as well from Kroger um, a lot of stores around in my I know in my area they may say well you can get your turkey for 49 cents a pound if you purchase 25 or 35 dollars worth of groceries and I have done that too so I really like to take advantage of those sales usually that's at Kroger or Harris Teeter also defrost your turkey in the fridge I my mom taught me to take my turkey out depending on the type of fridge you have, how cold it is, on Sunday. So I take mine out on Sunday and I just, of course, put it up under something large enough to catch any condensation or whatever. And um, I put it in my refrigerator. Now, um, you also need to invest in a meat th thermometer. You can find them at Walmart. You can also find them in your grocery store. I got mine. Finally, I got a real, real good one that I can put in the turkey while it's cooking during, I think it was after Christmas and it was on marked down on clearance. So invest in a great meat th thermometer. Don't depend on those pop-up ones. So there are so many different ways that you can cook your turkey. Um, my favorite is roasting because I love the way the turkey smells. My mom always says she loves the way turkey smells. You can smell it when you open up your car door before you even get into that person's house. So to with roasting, you'll use an oven bag. You can also brine your turkey beforehand. You can just season it and baste it. I actually have never just continually based my turkey. I guess I've been just too many so busy <laughs> to, in order to even do that you can smoke your turkey my family didn't love that too well and you can also fry it they absolutely love frying a turkey so i have one of these indoor fryer by butterball and for me for me they're very easy to use um they are a little bit safer you still have to use extreme caution guys when you're using this but you can fry it right in your house um, I don't use this a lot, but it's so worth it to have for the holidays and it's so fast. So the, the recipe that I use is the mealies. I will try to find that link below to season the turkey. And it really doesn't take long to cook it all. Three and a half to four minutes per pound on your turkey. Make sure you're cautious of the size of your turkey because these indoor fryers do not carry or hold a really large large turkey so i found 20 pounds online i think it said but for some reason that doesn't seem correct to me i think it's a little bit smaller turkey and then as well when you're cooking a frying a turkey be prepared to have more because people really love a fried turkey a fried turkey is really 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 good the first time I had a fried turkey, I went to my mother-in-law's house. She always feeds a huge amount of people and people pop up and stop by unannounced and stuff. And the turkey was just demolished flat. So if I know I'm extra people will come to my house, then I will pick up a extra smaller turkey or either a turkey breast. So you can purchase these at Aldi's, Costco, at Walmart. They're usually about $100. Also, I think HSN or QVC. I think QVC may sell them as well. So that is an option. For me, uh, the cheapest peanut oil that I found is usually at Aldi. And I think it's like $6.99. And you usually need two of these or two and maybe a little bit more of another one. So, yeah. So preparing your turkey for cooking oh no you forgot to take it out so 
you know, this has happened many, a t not many a times, but I know at least three times for me. And I'm like, mama, what do I do? So she just told me to fill up one of my sinks and put some cold water in it. And usually I re may have realized this maybe on a Tuesday. Um, I may have been working or for some reason I just forgot. And so I would just sit there and I'll monitor it, let it sit in the sink just about all day. Um, of course, it's a big iceberg sitting in your sink because then you will have to take that water out and put some um, more water in later and then just put it in your fridge. So you kind of have to, you know, touch it and and it feels like the outside per portion is falling out. But you don't want for it to get warm. You want it to stay cool. And if you have to rotate it in the water throughout the day then immediately put it back in the refrigerator so i only do this in dire emergencies maybe i got my turkey at the last minute or i just realized i haven't took my turkey out and it's tuesday afternoon so that's usually when that happens so um when you're cooking with an oven bag i've done this for many many years and it's just my go-to because my mom just the way my mom taught me so you will have a reynolds oven bag or any oven bag and you will put the measurements that's on the bag that tells you how many tablespoons of flour and you will close the bag at the top and just shake it. Once you put your turkey in, I like to season my turkey with fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, sage, and normally I um, get that from Walmart because they have a value pack together. Onion, celery, apples, and oranges. I really love um, seasoning my roasted turkey with that. And then I would slip that turkey in. It is challenging. And then put slits in the bag. And I absolutely love cooking um, it that way. One day I'm going to try basting. But I love cooking it that way. Frying, I will share that recipe as far as the mealies, but make sure you pat dry completely with paper towels or whatever you prefer um, that turkey before you put it in that fryer completely. Okay, brining. I have done this a couple of times and I actually like it, but you can pick up brining bags from Walmart sells them or Target and also or a just get a bucket. You may want to put the brining bag inside of the bucket or you may want to use a cooler. I know some people do that as well. You can purchase your brine from the store. I know Trader Joe's sells um, one and a lot of places sell them and, or you can make your own homemade. Usually I make a homemade brine if I do decide to do that. But you have to make sure that you allow time for your turkey to thaw in order for your turkey to brine before you actually cook your turkey so a brining is just a solution that tenderizes and makes the turkey moist and juicy if you decide to another trick that i also use if i'm just using a regular oven bag that i have been doing for years is i actually flip my turkey over breast side down if you don't mind your turkey not being nice and brown on the breast side if you don't mind that then all the juices run from the back of the turkey onto the breast of the white meat that's usually drier so that helps a lot too so um i do that every year also guys if you have a smoker you want to soak your wood chips for at least 30 minutes um and then put it in the smoker and let it do its work my family was not a fan of that i actually wasn't a fan of as well but some of you may like it putting your turkey in a smoker so um it smells really good but we just wasn't a fan so i'm hoping i didn't leave anything out i'm sure i did i always do <laughs> but as far as preparing for your turkey for thanksgiving making it a little easier for you so make sure you clean out your fridge, your fridge in your home, if you have one in your garage, especially if you want to brine that turkey, make sure you have room for it because it can be kind of hard, especially when you get started cooking other things ahead of time. Clean out your oven one week before or whenever you have time. That I thought was a great 
tip that Frugalista, she um, said, I think I saw in one of her videos, she said she was going to clean out her oven. And I was like, I don't even think about that. Cleaning out my oven before so it can be fresh. So I thought that was so awesome. Put my go-to items in a bin on my, contain on my counter. So what I do a lot of times is... I put all my seasonings together, all my baking stuff together. And so just so it's not sitting on my counter, I have all my flour, sugar, my um, vanilla extract, all of those things together in a bin so that it's easier for me to just move them and shift them around. I need to free some counter space or anything like that. So that is really helpful for me when I am cooking. I don't have to keep running back and forth to my pantry for items on my cabinets. Don't forget those items that need to be room temperature, such as your cream cheese or your butter. A lot of times in the past, I would forget and I'm like, oh man, I'm ready to make this sour cream pound cake or such and such. And it needs to be room temperature. That does make a difference in baking. Timing is something that I think a lot of people have a hard time of juggling, especially during Thanksgiving. You want to spend time with your loved ones and you also want to go out and shop. And now shopping is so much sooner than it was before, but it's just up to you. I do not go out to shop for Black Friday until after a typical Thanksgiving dinner, maybe after the afternoon or after five or six. So then I will go shopping after then. So one or two weeks, you can go ahead and prepare your dinner rolls. I got this great recipe from I Heart Recipes. You can freeze them. You can prepare your desserts on Monday or Tuesday. Your sides, such as like your greens on Wednesday, of course, you will refrigerate them. You can also make them way ahead of time. And some pe a lot of people freeze them. So you can do that as well. Um, if you don't want to seem like you're in the kitchen every day of the week. And then on Tuesday... I'm sorry, not Tuesday, on Turkey Day, Thursday. I always like to make my turkey early in the morning. Usually it's like four, five o'clock in the morning, um, sometimes maybe even eight. But um, yeah, your stuffing and dressing, I usually wait to Thursday to make that because that's just what I prefer. And um, I believe there is, you guys, let me know. You can make your sweet potato um, filling part ahead of time. I think you just can't add the eggs is that correct um i should have looked that up to make sure for you guys but if that is correct and you put it in the freezer and then thaw it out and then add the egg later so just let me know if that is correct guys can to get you started dollar tree has a lot of cooking utensils and supplies to get you started if this is your very first thanksgiving and also they have lots and lots of aluminum foil and saran wrap and also these um, tin containers. Now you do have to watch them because they are thin. Most of the time I do invest a little bit, couple more dollars. I go to Walmart if Aldi has them or Target and purchase them from there. But I would advise to make sure you double up if you use these. And this is just a picture of showing the herbs that I like to pick up from Walmart. I pick them up ahead of time so they're not gone. And also the collard greens. I like to get these from Wally World. When you're picking these, make sure it's not too much condensation or moisture on the bottom of the bag where all the leaves look like they're super soaked. I would ask a associate if they have any in the back. A lot of times they do. Be Make sure you pick up a extra bag because a lot of times there are a lot of stems in these bags so I would pick up an extra just to make up for all those stems if this is your very first time hosting Thanksgiving I would recommend him purchasing one of these you can try soaking your own collard greens as well but you have to make sure you rinse them and wash them very thoroughly to get all of the sand or dirt all of the collard greens because you do not want any grit in your collard greens at all that will be horrible and to season these i just simply use a paula Deen recipe really i just use my own um, her house seasoning i will try to link that below if i can find it really simple a ham hock 
You can purchase that at Walmart. You can use whatever you like, turkey bacon, if that's what you like, or either um, bacon itself. So really simple chicken broth to seasoning. And that's it. I'm sorry I don't have a better picture. I just couldn't get it to magnify for me for you guys. And lastly, don't forget to take a break. Sometimes you can just take a break. I think this year we're going to do something a little different for our Thanksgiving. And when I asked my boys, they kind of gave me the side eye. But we're going to see how it goes. So I may make a few dishes of the favorites, such as stuffing. They like to have mac and cheese and the candy yam. So I may make that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go out to eat or either I am going to order something. So I have used the Honey Baked Ham store before for a ham. I never tried the turkey, but I want to try Boston Market. We really love their chicken, their mashed potatoes, their cream spinach, their corn, their cornbread. And seem like I'm missing something. So we'll just see how that works. Either we'll decide to go out somewhere. I may change my mind and I may cook. But this will be the first time in 12 years that I have not cooked. And so even when I have been sick. So <laughs> um, I'm going to give mommy a little break since I had surgery last week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for someone and blessed someone. I was trying to get this out sooner. But um, it's always hard to think of all of those things just in general on Thanksgiving. And it was um, a little challenging to get them all together and think of them and try not to leave anything out and put it in one video. So, guys, I hope I didn't miss anything. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.